Podcast. Welcome back to the Odd Pod Podcast. It is a good day to have a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest drove here from North Carolina, but hails from California, hails from Nova. He's hailing all over the place. Mm. Southern boy, te- uh, Nova boy turned Southern boy turned LA star from cornfields to studio rooms and his natural hair color to every hair color since. What with 70 plus thousand followers on Instagram, he's an influencer, an artist, Jacob's best friend, but most importantly, he's our first guest on the podcast. Who's this man? Nathan Pilek. Thank you. It's Pie Land, like Land of Pie. Just saying. All right, well, I fucked up. You didn't tell me that. I I did not know I needed to. And and I have five million followers. But just put it out there. So what'd you write? How many followers did you put? Well, 70, not, 75k. Not, he, was like, oh he, 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 was right. he said I had 70k on Instagram. And he's not wrong. He's right. Uh, 70 okay. plus. 70 plus. I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? It was 76. Yeah. But I, I, I threw know. the who this man. Who this man. I know. I heard that. Yeah. I, heard that. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. I had a segment ready. We passed two minutes yet? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, fine. We'll get to the first segment. All right. So like I mentioned, you were born in Nova. You met um, Jacob. Oh, give Nathan a goodie bag. I, I pointed at it eight times. Thank you for coming on our podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. That's our Thank queen. You so a welcome Woo! gift for you. Go ahead and open it up. Oh, it's $20. Stay on script. I hope that it's, um... Oh, no. I don't know. There better be some fucking M&Ms in there. I really, yeah. I really oh, hope it's like a hookah. Like, it's like a small hookah for my bedroom. You a hookah guy? Because I did say that. No, that's what I told Jacob. Was like, may, may, make, get me a hookah if you're gonna give me a present. It better be that, nothing else. We're not gonna give every guest a gift, right? Is that, th- is that a thing now? Because you're starting this. Yes, it is a thing. All right, Ooh, they this are coming on to our podcast. I was kidding about the hookah, by the way. Some of our guests are gonna be better at opening the gifts. Yeah, I'm there gonna give go. the guests. Oh that yeah, I yeah. Want. I want to eat this because I'm hungry. You know what I mean? Ooh, Ooh chocolate glazed donut. Smart. Love it. Love it. We actually we do a lot of snacks. On oh, the oh man, that's me. <laughs> uh, that's the album cover. Wait, let's see that. Most recent album, episode oh. eleven, Odd Pod Podcast. Oh man, that's and gum. Sick. I actually really After like I that. After I eat these, can you put it on the table? Thank you so much. I like I that. That is so put nice. It at the edge. Put it that's like front. really nice. That should be. I'm putting that in my TikTok. That's sick. Which, by the way, I'm I'm gonna film a TikTok with these fools. I'm making them film a TikTok dance with me later. We'll do whatever it's like. Dance, that. no, oh, no. that's gonna be great. If yeah, we're, we're willing to it. pay, we're willing to dance. I'm not paying for it. You're, no, you, you guys paid my fee now. Oh, true. Okay. It's not much. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Like a handshake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me your word. A little I'll lower. Stop. A little lower, but a handshake. <laughs> that's literally all he has. Um, you love One Piece, so let's get that out of the way real quick. That Where are you in One Piece? Um, I have every book ever made. Every book ever made? In the US, yeah, in English. Really? Yeah, I own every book. And then I actually got the whole set from Thailand's McDonald's um, collab with One Piece. I have every single um, character from that like Happy Meal uh, collab they did in Thailand. Oh, so you were telling me you're a big fan, so I was assuming, okay, he's watched it all. No, it's like, big, I don't even fan. watch it because I'm like, it's annoying to me to watch the show. I just want to read yeah. it. So you're a big fan. Yeah, you have the collectibles and all those harder to get things. Yeah. Wow. Um, so then, wait, was it the Thailand thing? So, what, what is that? What? Was it Thailand thing? It was Thailand's McDonald's, and maybe, like, all of Asia's McDonald's, but I knew I was only in Thailand. And they, um, did a collab with One Piece, and their Happy Meals were the, like, them, like, it was, like, Luffy in one of, in a boat that was, like, specific to Luffy, what? and then, like, Robin, and Ace, and Law, and they all had like different the chopper, and so I just got all of them. I was like, how much for the whole thing? I was gonna ask. And they gave price. me a, a display ship, and it was 150 bucks. It was worth it. For wow. McDonald's toys. Well, for Thailand McDonald's toys, which everything in Thailand is so cheap. So that was the most money I spent. More than hotel, almost more than the flight. Like, almost more than the hookers. Yeah. Yeah, almost. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, definitely more than that. Um, <laughs> that was some truth behind it. Uh, um. No, I just want to get that out of the way because I love One Piece and I also I get the collectibles and stuff. I bought like the wanted posters and all these fun things with it. So they wanted to get some hate on it. He started watching some of it and then he dropped it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me about your One Piece journey. Oh, uh, yeah. So we got to the line thing and they were all mad at each other. And then the girl ran off with some stuff because she wanted some treasure. Yeah. And they weren't happy about that. Luffy was like, no. Come on, be with us. Are you talking about the real, the live action show? No, I didn't no, 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 no. watch the anime. Just the first season. Okay, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, finish that. Why did you stop? It is, well, One Piece is uh, cheesy. I started, like, realizing I'm too masculine, you know what I mean? It's really hard <laughs> to watch <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't know. I just stopped watching it. There's a lot to watch, so it's like a major commitment, and I have commitment issues. It is a big commitment. That's what I hear the most from people that don't already watch it. I've been watching, it, reading it since I was a kid, so I just like love it. Every Christmas, I get four more One Piece novels, or however many they come out with that year. Did you ever watch it. the, um, what's it called, from uh, Toonami? Cartoon Network? I didn't have cable. What? I was like Amish. Amish. So I didn't have a microwave or cable. You went from Amish to the wow. person you are today? Yeah. I'm not looking at you say you're yeah. Amish. No, I'm not. I wasn't really Amish, but I like to say that because we didn't have a microwave, we didn't have cable, and we didn't have internet for a while. How did you heat uh, up food growing up? Um, on the stove. Oh, no. <laughs> did you have to go out and chop wood and shit? Well, we did have a oh, fireplace. Wait, is that, is that too Amish? Is that too Amish I'm thinking? Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, like you had a fireplace to cook your food on? Like no, we had a stove. Oh, <laughs> <they don't> <laughs> we had a dishwasher. Oh, oh. But just not a microwave and not cable. Did you actually use your dishwasher or did you just put like yeah, stuff we in the dishwasher. store? Yeah, yeah. Man said he don't have cable and we're asking him what kind of horses he's got on his <laughs> carriage. You know, I would. That would have been nice. Okay, fine. We're done with the One Piece. I know you're looking at me. Weird. No, it's fine. I also grew up without internet. Whoa. I couldn't play Call of Duty when everybody else was playing Call of Duty. I didn't have a cell phone until ninth grade. I didn't have it until tenth grade. Ten? <laughs> freshman year? Oh, well. I, freshman year. I grew up freshman stealing year. internet from my oh, neighbor. Oh, that's cool. But you had a yeah. cell phone when you were in third well, grade. That's illegal. Listen, yeah. I met this man in third grade and he already had a cell phone. Listen, okay. I didn't grow up in poverty, so. Oh, <laughs> we lived right down the street from each other, motherfucker. Okay, I didn't, okay, I didn't grow up in poverty. But anyway, I stole my neighbor's internet, and then one in one year, I downloaded uh, the Blind Side to watch like nice. super legally, and then. They blocked his internet. The ISP blocked his internet, and then that for was for illegally downloading. Yeah, for illegally oh, downloading. Oh, that's the blind side. And then that was the year we had to start paying for internet because they locked his internet afterwards. <laughs> yo, oh. are you admitting to a crime? We have to blur something. Yeah, did he know? Did he know? I mean, eventually, yeah. When no. he tried to get on the internet. No, did he like? Yeah, did but you not tell him. You? Oh, never. I would wow. never fess up with something <laughs> like that. Would you fess up with something like that? No, no I wouldn't. Would yeah, no, 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 not even a little bit. <laughs> What's, what's a crime that you would fess up to right now? Well, the thing Obviously, is, though, I, I know your neighbors. I kind of want to ask. I stole candy from 7-Eleven before. I used to steal Four Locos from 7-Eleven in high school because I was like, I if you would let me pay for it, I would buy it, but you won't let me pay for it, so that's on you. That's how I used to think about it. <laughs> so, so was that when, like, Four Loco would really fuck you up, or was that post? Yeah. That was back when Four Loco had caffeine. No, it did, not, well, not when I did it. It didn't have caffeine. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, probably, I would, I would, I used to steal from, like, Target or something like little little dime nickel and dime things here and there just because I wanted it nickels and dimes yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. from their registers yeah I would steal directly. too from yeah <laughs> steal, directly get that money yeah. with one plan you stop by third grade elephant. what's an elephant I wanted plan? I really wanted to build a pirate plant. those like <laughs> plants with the big <laughs> and it came out back. like the big leaves and they like they like hang thank you uh, me and my friend Austin like went and stole a bunch of those one <laughs> and then we tied it we like tied we got like string. And 50 feet down the road, we tied it underneath the car. So it was under this other car 50 feet down. So at some point, they were going to be, like, driving on the highway and be like, what the heck? There's, like, 50 feet behind me, there's, like, these elephant ear plants tied oh to my car. Oh, my God. Is it the Austin I know? Yeah. Oh. Dude, me and Austin used to get on the opposite side of the roads and pretend to pull string just yeah. to yes. stop cars. Yeah, too, yeah. 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 That's so stupid. We <laughs> would look up. We would, like, go look up and point to get other people to be like, and we do that in front of highways too, so people would be like, <laughs> That's so good though. We'd be like, when we did that growing up, we would do it like literally in our neighborhood. So they'd see us pulling strings and the next day we'd be riding our bikes. Yeah, <laughs> we, were pretty mad. we were pretty dumb with that neighborhood. Yeah, we, we did other places. We were smart. That's you know, that is, <laughs> Yeah. yeah we're, I mean, we're petty criminals. Yeah, we were stealing nickels and shit, you know? We yeah, could be stealing targets. <laughs> Has anybody ever egg a house? Yes. Um, pretty bad. And, and TP'd mm. on a Halloween. Mm-hmm. And I did, um, I, I do, That's so classic. I do regret garage. this maybe, like, I don't know, yeah. as a kid, but like, I, no, I never did it, but I was in the car when someone did the mailbox scene with the bats. <laughs> oh. You, what? <laughs> yeah. That's and, like, wild. And like, Catlett, Virginia, where it's like, really, like, like, country, like, <laughs> I think I was in ninth grade, and the guy who did it was a senior. Holy shit. What we... the heck was he hanging out with in ninth grade? <laughs> I was trying to beat me up earlier that day, too. And it actually caused me to win Capture the Flag because they were all trying to beat me up and I just like 
have them follow me, and then I went and captured the flag. This story literally just went all. <laughs> yeah, so back to like, so back to if anybody yeah, yeah. egged the house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can follow that. <laughs> you were under duress. That's why you did it. Yeah, and then I was like, okay, like I'll go smash the mailbox because of you. You, don't want you to think I'm cool. <laughs> you didn't beat me up today. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so egging houses. No, I think we're done with this uh, oh, latest okay. segment of yeah, illegal video. activities we did when we were minors. I don't want the fucking Justice Department to be looking at our podcast. Actually, that's a pretty good fan. Subscribe. That's Anyways. Cool. Please subscribe. 200 bucks. <laughs> DOD. <laughs> DHS. <laughs> each person. <laughs> um, so, one of the things that I know you pretty well, like I mentioned, and Jacob knows you very well, and he doesn't know you at all. So, you're looking at three people that are really kind of layering in their ways of how they know you. Yeah. It's like very. So, who are you? Um, Why are you gay? What? <laughs> That's a good uh, there, I don't think there's a why. There. I think there is just is. is. You know that yeah. meme, right? That was a good one. Sorry. I know the meme. Um, <laughs> I, I. Well, which one do you want me to answer? Here, I can, here, no, who me, are, just who are you? Though? Okay. I love broad. Just start with the broad. Um, I'm question. an artist, and I have. I'm like a really good friend to people that I'm friends <laughs> so with. <dope. laughs> Um, I'm a really caring guy, really nice, you know, I just like people. Um, super funny. I love that. I actually have a tattoo that says not funny, but it's ironic. Oh, shit. Um, and then <laughs> I did, do music, I've done social media, I've had a fun career in LA, and now I'm in North Carolina for family reasons. Yay! Yeah, so that's Nathan. So, Nathan. back in North Carolina, where would you say that journey began? Where you're like, this is when I was like... Like two years ago when I moved to the suburbs an hour away from LA... Mm-hmm. After two years there, I was like, why am I even in LA? And I'm like, it's too expensive in California. I'm not even really like doing all the things I came out here to do anymore. I'm just chilling. So I might as well be chilling with my parents where it's cheaper. Well, I meant like the journey to become the person you are now, like all this music artists and everything. Oh, well, Did you start that in LA? Yeah, well, um, so I was in Northern Virginia, grew right. up there, went to college when I was 18. I was already like a YouTuber in middle school, but not famous. Then Tumblr, I got a following in 12th grade. Ooh. Then I got a following on Musical.ly when I was a sophomore in college, and I got 250,000 followers. I remember that first video post that blew up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 And then after that, yourself. every video went viral after that, every single video. Yeah. Um, and Or like every third video, at least. Um, should we? Then I got invited to the first Musical.ly meet and greet ever in LA in 2016, maybe late 2015. Mm-hmm. No, I think it was 2016, though. And I went out there, was not expecting to like move to LA or anything like that, but I just a lot of opportunities, things were so great. Started a content house with some people out there, or a content group, and we all decided, uh, Connect Six. Okay. And we all decided to move to LA. Um, there was only one girl in the group who was actually living in LA at that point. So we all moved, um, the group didn't last, but got me to LA, and yeah, I was, I was out in six, LA six months after the meet and greet, literally six months. Holy crap. Yeah. So jumping, and then ten years. I it know, almost like, happened almost. kind of overnight for you, like the two fifty one day, and then you said every video after that was pretty much viral. Yeah, yeah. The like the it, it all happened slow, and then like right at once. Insane. So knowing Nathan, and this is my dad's favorite story to tell ever. He driving doesn't matter to him, Mm-mm. or do it. or going anywhere. Like he he'll he came. Me and my family had a family vacation back in the day. And he drove six hours to the beach and went home after only being there for like three hours or four hours or something stupid. Yeah. Wow. So he's always all over the place. Um, so that was not out of character for you to. Yeah, that was like go it didn't. Even, I didn't even question it. His dad loves that story, but I think it is a funny story. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. But I didn't even question. It. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just go. I have a few. I have a day to kill. I'll just hang with Jacob for like a few hours, have dinner, go back. How do you pass the time? Like, what, like. We went. We were at the beach. No, I mean like driving for oh, so long. Um, I'm, I like being introspective. I like having me time. So it uh-huh. gives me a lot of me time, which is dope. I call people. I reconnect with exes. I no no no. He's no. not kidding about That's it. That's so weird, weird, dude. Go on Craigslist. Leave like ads. I uh, like misconnections on the yeah. Oh my God. I'll um. I'll just like reconnect with old friends. People I haven't talked to in like more than ten years. So I'll just random like I wonder how they're doing. Let's call them. See if they answer. And sometimes they do. Um, I will write movies in my head or albums and songs in my head. I'll like be like Siri, make a voice note. This would be a good top line for a song, and then I'll just like I'll just have random thoughts. Yeah. So driving so podcast. much, like you mentioned, wild story, your go-to one, road story. There had to be one. Wait, what's my wildest road story? Road story. On the road. It was with Jacob. We took a twenty-four hour drive once. Yeah, we took a twenty-four what? hour drive through the worst storm 
of Oklahoma like in ten years. Thunderstorm, um, snowstorm, like Thunder. tornado storm. Tornado oh storm. my and, god! And there was a tornado. It was like all our phone. Like we were hydroplaning for an hour, couldn't see anything through a wall of water, couldn't even see like the cars next to us. And we're just rah, rah, rah. and then we're driving for like an hour in this, and our car, our phones keep going off over and over again. Tornado near you! It's tornado near you right now! Mm-hmm. Tornado near you! <laughs> and so then we got off on this exit and. There was a McDonald's there, and we watched with like a bunch of other people who were just like trying to stay safe from the tornado and the storm. We watched the news, and the exit. If we had not gone off in that exit, the the next like before the next exit was a bridge that was flooded, and all these yeah. cars were like stuck on that bridge. <clears throat> yeah, it was like pretty crazy. Oh my god, we met a news. weird truck driver. How were you? Yeah, <laughs> were you guys calm? He was probably freaking the fuck out. This um, I, I, I started crying a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I like <laughs> adventures. Bit? I like stories. I just think of everything like. From a like, I like take myself out of it almost, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. This is content, content yeah, for yeah. filming, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, we're like, <laughs> if, if my life was a movie, like this would be good. Or is this a good story? Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, like, I, can, I know good stories. That was before happening. Musically. That was a long time ago, dude. That was before Musically. Because you were graduating from. You know, college, that was my or, first. No, I was a freshman. I freshman just got. College. It was the summer after my freshman year, and you came out to. You flew out to my college in Missouri. And then we went to Oklahoma, and then we drove back to Virginia together. Yeah, to our buddies' uh, graduation for uh, from boot, the army, the army base or camp, boot camp, boot camp, boot camp, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't even say we were close friends then. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we were. Oh, oh, no. 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 Yes, we were. We were friends since high school. You kept telling me that you thought you could beat me up. <laughs> when? You had to pick on somebody. <laughs> yeah, it was a love story. Well, no. I don't know if I can be him now, but I could before. I no, I know how you felt about it. But I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this vividly. All your friends, do you have to beat them up or do they have to beat you I've up? I've never beaten up any of my friends. I've never been beaten up by any of their friends. That's true. I, I do Muay Thai to protect okay, myself coming. from you too. Yeah. Aww, See, I don't cut Muay Thai. They gotta know about it. I am Muay pretty Thai. pretty good at I'm, I mean I've never fought anyone, so I have nothing to go off of, but I just feel like I'd be good at a fight. Is that great? That's I feel like I'm everybody scared. says that though. <laughs> yeah, but I would be. That's a little bit fast. Come on, come on. Why again? Yeah, that's right. Every guy always hits him with that. Don't get me mad. You always like me when I'm mad. And I'm like, this is it, though. Yeah, yeah. Why you talk about gonna get? No, yeah. I I remember that trip because I came down because Jamar was graduating from boot camp and you were on the way. Yeah. Because <laughs> me and Gray flew down there. Yeah, you flew to Springfield, Menard. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. Weird. Old, that was a fun. Trip. It was a weird place, but it was fun. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma and Spring and Missouri are weird states to me. No offense, love y'all in there. I got some friends in both those places. I'm sure we'll uh, be digging more into the friends of different places in your past life. I do have a lot of past life. I have albums. <laughs> Speaking. Well, of let's it. talk about the albums right now. So let's get the latest life updates since you've gone to North Carolina. That's a big shift. Yeah, you don't have to dig into the family reasons that you mentioned, but I'm uh, like full time now at a marketing agency in LA. I'm loving it. I love being remote. I love like doing something more normal and like not so like front facing, camera facing. Yeah. Um. So that's nice. And then, excuse me. I'm just like trying to see everyone that I like in the u.s over this next year and a half before i go to asia for a few years asia so i'm going to asia next september where um wherever i'm going to start in thailand i'm going to taiwan first no i'm going to thailand first thank you though i appreciate that Um, (laughs) and then and then i'm gonna gonna, (laughs) i'm gonna go like all over i'm not just gonna stay in, in southeast asia like i'm gonna go to australia a lot my old roommates in australia i have a lot of friends in australia um, I have some friends in New Zealand. I'll go to New Zealand. I'll go to like Berlin. I'll go to like all over. I'll go to Italy. Um, but I have a lot of friends all over because oh. of the because of social media. So I'm just gonna like go see people and also do a lot of solo traveling. Okay. For a few years. Do you have any plans in the works, like music wise, content wise, during this whole thing? Uh, yeah, I'll I'll do um travel content and, and foodie content when I while I do it. So I, my plan is um, I'm just gonna hire an editor. And then I plan to um, make money on the road. I, I plan to like actually make like get more money and okay. make more money doing travel content for your music. Would you say your next drama is? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm I don't know what my next album will be. I'm definitely leaning more towards an EDM sound, but everything I do is always kind of punk. So I've had two albums now, and my last album was in June, and it was a four year break between the first and the second. So it'll probably be another four years before I drop another album, but I'll drop singles in between. Cool. 
What yeah. was your motivation behind that most recent album? Because I listened to it. Yeah. And it, it sounded like uh, really like like love and like yeah. relationships. So what what drove that? All my albums are about people that I've been like in love or entangled with. Um, that album was mostly written about this one ex of mine, who it was a really weird story because I. Like you could bleep this out if you want, or I, I'll I'll just say it in a better he way. Afterwards. Say, yeah, he, say uh, he he was an adult film star that I really liked for like seven years, like since college, and I met him in person, um, and he like love bombed me like in a narcissistic way. Uh, but he love bombed me, and I was like, oh my god! So I ate it all up because I was like a fan of his, and I didn't tell him that I knew who he was, but I just ate it up. I, I, he could do no wrong, and he was like a mentally abusive narcissist. And it was just like a weird four months. It was during lockdown. Like it, we started dating or seeing each other, and then lockdown happened. And we were—he was in San Francisco, and I was in LA, which were like cities that you really stayed in. Like you actually mm-hmm. like stayed. Yeah. You didn't mm-hmm. see people. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It was like a weird four months. But um, my whole—I wrote like a whole album. I actually wrote two albums um, during that time. I wrote all of Pyland as rap emo, and then I discovered pop punk, and I. I trashed the whole first album that was completely finished, and then I rewrote it with the same concepts, same titles, um, and everything as pop punk. Okay. Yeah, and it was all about that ex. It was all about that ex. Was he a plumber, pizza delivery guy? Oh, um, he probably had multiple jobs in that industry. Yeah, he probably had multiple (laughs) characters. No, he. he, he, It wasn't really that creative. It was more (laughs) just like this is what we're doing. They didn't really have like jobs. I wish you know you know could have been a better actor but i don't think he he probably doesn't act like that <laughs> i'm waiting for someone to write music about me but not very likely it happens i'll you know, do a song about you i get in front of the right people come on thanks yeah. man yeah can, an interesting thing <laughs> yeah why not an interesting thing about being an artist is all the people that you date and write songs about they love the songs like it's like a i don't it's like a maybe like a self or not selfish thing but like People love it. Like, all my people I've written songs about, you would think they would hate the songs, but it's, like, on their top Spotify playlist that year. Oh, like, yeah. Because they, they love it. They're like, this song's about me. I, like, love it. Absolutely. Even though they're trashing them. Like, it's and, a narcissistic and, thing, right? Yeah, and that's the same with all artists. Like, all artists in LA, they all say the same thing. They're like, yeah, that's a universal thing. Because whether they, like, if they, like, adore you, you're like, yeah, I'm great. And then if they like you, like, I'll prove you wrong. Right. Like, it's that narcissist thing that you're talking about. Yeah, they love it. They love that the song was written about them. Yeah. Regardless of if it's like, you treated me like shit. It's like, oh, yeah, I did. My bad. <laughs> it's a song. I did that. Bop yeah. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> hey, it's a good song. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> I made him do that. Yeah. <laughs> All I get is Nacho Libre references. Until that movie, like, really fades away. Right, welcome back. Thank you so much. Once again, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, because Jacob, this. Jacob has 300. a boatload of money. Scrooge McDuck is sitting over here and wants to give you his money just to subscribe. And I'm donating my fee to y'all. And he's right. Jacob. Free. He'll pay you. Free. That free. money is free. Okay, speaking of... No I paywall on this podcast, baby. No paywall. We don't have, we don't have, we don't have the numbers there yet. All of a sudden, we have, you get it for free, babe. We pay you. $200 value for free. $300 now. You said $300. Oh, $300 value for free. That's what you get in each episode. Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll That's what we value our podcast at. I hope we're not ever like legally liable for saying these kind of things. If it's like, ah, whatever. This is a verbal contract. Yeah. It seems real. So nah. I'll do it. If, yeah. Worst case, you just have to pay $300 each. <laughs> yeah. Worst case no. scenario. Worst case, we just stop doing the podcast. Class action. That's it. Um, we'll Bankru- just, bankruptcy. File bankruptcy. They're going to be like, where was it filmed? They'll be like, uh. <laughs> I'll just point it in. All, all 50 subscribers at my doorstep. 16. 16. Oh, we're at 50 at that point. Yeah. 51. Anyways, out of context stuff. So let's go into more out of context. With this new game. We like the. Co- oh, I'm just joking. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is happening? So, you have a lot of pictures on your Instagram. We're going to look at pictures and we want you to just simply explain that pic. Tell us the story behind it. Andy, you first. All right, I'll go first. Explain that pic. It's a it's a, a reel that you posted. Ooh. Ooh. And so, I just want to get some clarification on how you ended up here. All right, so you guys ready for this? Mm hmm. Yes, I love this. Bro, this 
so so how much did that hurt and how did you get choke slammed? Yeah, so um so me and my friend Lee and Bo, we've actually created a lot of viral videos. We had a good formula. It was mostly Bo and Lee who came up with this formula, but I joined in for a few videos. We also got the cops calling us for a similar formula video that we filmed in public where we were fighting and he was pretending to be a woman. Uh, Bo was whatever. It was like a whole thing. But that video specifically, um uh Lee and Bo and I were like, what, how would like, how is like a funny way that he could like choke slam you in a, like a video? And he was like, oh, I, like, Lee was like, I'll make fun of his weight and then like throw a Sprite in his face. And then he'll get, he'll take his shirt off and he'll get like really mad at you. And then he'll choke slam you. So we, we stage combated the choke slam a few times on the couch. So I would jump, I would, ha I would grab his hands, jump, and he'd slam me down on the couch. And that take on the floor actually took, that was our third take. So that it, I did get hit, like I did, but it, it I was a little bit of a stage combat, but it still hurt. It was like wrestling, um, and that was our third take, and that was the one that we went with. Well, in wrestling, they're not doing it onto a hardwood floor like you did. Yeah, and that was at our friend Kristen's house, and that a lot of crazy videos have been filmed in that house. I don't mean like necessarily like adult films. I just mean like like TikToks, like so many like viral videos have been filmed in that specific. Um, house. There's like a video where this guy tapes her her uh, chairs, her bar chairs, onto his feet, and he slips and breaks her TV. It goes through her TV. Oh. This, and she was pissed because she was out of town at that time. She was like, "Who the fuck were you?" I'd be pissed about that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So if you could name this whole time the blank era, what would you call it? Um, this would be my musically era. The, mu the yeah, musically era. I had like a specific group of friends. We all did musically together. We all moved to LA the same week. We all were in LA in the same spring break looking for a house. Um, that's when we met in spring break, and then we met the first week of summer because we um, all were out of school finally. So we moved to LA the same week, and we became friends right away. And we're still, I'm still friends with a few of them. Wow. So, do you guys know what connections? Musically is? Musically was no. TikTok. Before TikTok. But before TikTok. I know, but so you out. get the really oh, weird okay. advertising. Remember those weird advertising you see on uh, Snapchat of people yeah. dressed in costumes? It was called Musically. They changed yeah. the name, and I guess they. Fire their whole marketing team or something. They didn't fire their whole marketing team. What did they do? When did that change they, happen? They integrated them. They bought. They they fired some people, but they they uh they just bought the company. They like ByteDance bought Musically and all its data for a billion dollars. Oh my gosh. Um, and then they took a year rebranding it, and included me and a bunch of my friends who were comedians to rebrand from t lip syncing to comedians. Um, and then for two years it was that, and then it turned into dancing. As like the main thing, mission accomplished. What for TikTok? Yeah, well the transition. Oh, I didn't dance. I'm a comedian. Okay. So I don't know. Cause I know when dancing the 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 first year or two was all like lip syncing. That was so annoying. But yeah. The, and then the dancing now is like you see that more prevalent now though. That's when you yeah. see TikTok in person because people can do the lip syncing in their cars. The dancing you see all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Yeah. You see kids dancing everywhere. Yeah. So musically got acquired and then mm -hmm. somewhere along the line turned into TikTok like literally. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They a year after rebranded it. But it had been TikTok a year before it was rebranded publicly. That's so crazy because I, I work in like the app development space and Android. Yeah. And for the app ID, it would say like something, something, something musically. Yeah. I was like, that's not fucking TikTok. Yeah. Oh, it's Well, the, yeah. the, um, yeah, the, the, I'm so sorry. I, I can't remember what I was going to say. So that's okay. Sweet. Yeah. And I see that you go to Coachella. I see that you go to music festivals. I want to know. Do you know if, what Neon Carnival is? No drinks. That's a good podcaster right there. I do not. I know the rules. Neon Carnival <laughs> is really dope. It's like a VIP event or invite only like um, celebrity Coachella. And it's during Coachella. So co there's regular Coachella and there's industry Coachella. What? And industry Coachella is the first weekend of Coachella. It's always in Palm Springs. It's so much more fun than Coachella. But it's only invite only. So like to give you an example of what it's like. It's like you're going to this open bar at Elf um, Makeup's like party, and you're standing next to Logan Paul and Billie Eilish. That's like what the vibe is. So, because I follow all those big influencers, and they always go to Coachella, and I'm like, you go to, they go to Industry Coachella. Okay, so I didn't know might, that was they a might difference. go to the actual festival. But my biggest but, thing is when they're taking the stories, I see no security guards nearby or nothing. And yeah, I'm like, I can't imagine Logan Paul just walking out in the open like that. Is it because they industry do some Coachella? times? But yeah, it's usually Industry Coachella. It looks exactly the same. It's all, it's also in the desert. It's in the same like it's around Coachella. It okay. just happens the first weekend, and then the locals and not the influencers go to the second weekend, and that's more like genuine Coachella. Is it the same sets? Um, yeah. Interesting. But industry Coachella is like the parties around it. So Neon Carnival is a festival. There's um, Revolve Festival, which is Revolve as a makeup brand. 
Um, and there's all these different, like, Interscope has a party every year, Elf has a party, a lounge. So you just go to all these parties. Best. Do you ever, is there a time that you ever... I want to ask if there was a time you got into a fight or you ever died, but you said you never got into a fight. You never got into so, like a fist fight, no. So is there a time you died at Coachella? Because I thought, or at any music festival, my very first one was Firefly, and I thought I was going to die. Because um, Meg and the girls, if they're watching this, thanks, they left us out in 30-degree weather whoa. in a tarp, and I was freezing. And this man offered me, you know, I had this thermal like you were in, bag. You were, you were camping? Yeah, we were camping, but they had a tent, and we did it. We had a gazebo, but oh, the gazebo no. was bented. Oh, no. He offered me his tent, or his uh, no, had a tent. sleeping bag. I know. Trust me, I know. He offered me his sleeping bag, and I had said, no, I'm fine. So I did blankets. I woke up wet, cold, yeah. freezing. I thought I was actually going to die. In the I believe that. That makes sense. So do you have a story like that? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can tell this story because it, it was vlogged um, uh, by me and a few other of my friends. But we used to go to EDC every year. We were part of Insomniac Circuit, so we were like part of their influencer, like whatever. So we just went to any festival we wanted to for a few years. And we would always go to EDC, we'd never miss it. Um, we were staying at this, it was the first year, we were staying at this influencer hotel, like they bought out a hotel for us. Um, and it was just us and all these influencers, other influencers. And we had a, an artist bus that would take us back and forth to the festival. Um, like it would do three trips a day. And. Um, what can I say? Okay, so what I, can I there, say? there was a um, there was an, a morning pool party every morning, um, and we had a weed sponsor. Churro was a sponsor, and Segway was a sponsor, and and Ciroc was a sponsor. So they so there was all these people hand, like trying like reps trying to get us to smoke weed or like do you want weed? Like they're always handing. I was like, yeah, why not? And oh I was smoking God. weed with this Netflix star I really liked. And I was like, are you that girl? She was, yeah, I was a blowjob girl from American Vandal. And I was like, oh yeah. Um, I was like, yep, you were her. She was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. Um, and we were just smoking like all morning, getting drunk all morning. I pull up to my friend's hotel room. They're just getting up. And I've been for four hours just like getting like twisted as fuck, which is like, like yeah. high and drunk. Um, and <laughs> Thanks, our demographic is 22 to 25. Everyone has different <laughs> slang. Everyone has different slang for that. But um, like two on, you know, whatever. Um, and um, yeah, so I pull up and I'm like, I'm going to go meet this guy and uh, hook up with him. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna meet, uh, like, we're gonna, he's gonna go to this at this time, so I'm gonna leave earlier. And they're like, you should really go with us, Nathan, you look fucked up. And I was like, no, it's fine, it's fine. Um, Visibly in trouble. Yeah. And, yeah, so then I, I went, um, and then three hours later, they get on the bus, and the guy's like, hey, your, your, uh, guy is, ba uh, back in the back, and he's throwing up. And they were like, no, our friend's at Coachella, or our friend's at EDC already. And he goes, no, he's not. And then I'm back there, I'm alone. And they're throw up all over the bathroom, all oh. over the ceiling, all over the walls. And I'm just like, and this one guy had to like keep me alive, <laughs> like not have me choke on my own vomit in the back. And everyone was just like, like I don't know. Influencers are annoying, but like no one tried to help me except this one guy. But then he did, you know, he went to EDC. So on the way back, I was just like that. And they they were like, we should leave him. Like so, they they were already late. And in three minutes, they took me back to the hotel room, cleaned me off, got the throw up off of me. And we got back on the bus and went back to EDC. And we oh appreciate gosh. the picture. And then I made out with um, an adult film star I really liked. A different one, though. But that was the first adult film star I really liked that I made out with. And we were, like, in the pool at the Artist Lounge. And we were like, well, that was fun. That's got cool. That's a cool way to make out, too. Yeah. yeah. It was like turkeys. Ours yeah. Was, uh, we were cold. All right, Jacob, yeah. your picture? We were cold, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I have a video, actually. Um, and it's going to be great. I just want you to... Explain this. Yeah. And that's it. So, I have these symptoms. <laughs> and online, it said that, well, I took this pregnancy oh. test, so I'm pregnant, and the guy that knocked me up doesn't know yet, but I'm going to tell him that I haven't seen him in four months. Yeah. Oh, hello? Can I come in? You? Uh, yeah. you? No, no, I remember. Until you can figure out that this baby is actually mine, it you, is. Actually I have you need to get out of my apartment. Get out of here! I feel like he's gonna react so bad. The haters are in my comments right now, and this is already a lot to process. I, 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 don't, I didn't ask for this, and I don't even know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so that was so explain fun. yourself yeah. male pregnancy scare and i love it so i can't remember the exact movie but male the male pregnancy trope has been done a lot like it's been done a lot it's been done by little nose x like more recently but it's been in movies i can't remember the exact name 
if you if someone wants to double check, look up the movie with the male pregnancy. I think it was like John Travolta or something. But either way, the male pregnancy like trope has been done a lot before, and this was a time in YouTube where I was trying to get more involved in it, and everyone was getting fake married. Everyone junior was getting with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, junior. And yeah, with Arnold. So Arnold Schwarzenegger was um, pregnant in that movie. <laughs> um, but that's been done a lot, and the the guy who I was accusing of getting me pregnant was my co-writer, and he actually came up with this idea. See, so include this in the. We got it. No, so, yeah. Be up there, so um, yeah, it was uh, he he came up with the idea, and he was like, I always just thought it'd be so ridiculous since everyone's faking everything right now. It's just like that's like the vibe of YouTube. Like during this time, that was like the vibe of like the big YouTube videos. Um, everyone was just faking everything. They were getting married. They were getting like not for real. They were they were just doing all this crazy stuff. And I was like, oh, like I should do something crazy. And he was like, I've always thought it'd be so ridiculous if a guy uh, vlogged pregnancy for like nine months um, and just did all the same stuff, but as a dude. And I was like, that. I was like, you better shut up right now. I was like, because I want this idea. So I was like, I'm so, like, unless you want me to take this idea, like you better stop talking because I, I love this. He goes, no, I love it. He was like, I can't. I don't want to do it. It's like, but I want it to happen. It should happen. It's going to happen eventually. And so we wrote it out. We wrote nine months of content. We got paparazzi involved, like real paparazzi. I got followed around um, in like the Gucci store buying baby clothes with like a hidden camera by the um, Hollywood fix or whatever. And just like a bunch of, we did a lot of PR stunts, but um, I did nine months of pregnancy and it all ended with a um, live stream birth. Uh, that was five hours long. Yep, we so actually had a birth did. on show too. Yeah, yeah I saw. I saw. <laughs> I, I'm a I'm a pod watch watcher, odd pod watcher. You're an, oh, you're an oddly. He's an ops. I'm an, an oddity. Ops. I'm an oddity. Part of the ops. There you go. I think the next one. Sorry, this is just. No, you're good. Pregnant man, nine months through Asia. I was. I did do Thailand. I did a pregnancy. I was in Thailand while, while you're pregnant. While I was pregnant, it was my last trip. The PR of it was like that was my last trip that I could take before I could no longer fly. So I was like, I have to, like, this is the last few, like, weeks that I can go fly. Um, so I was like, I want to go to Thailand and, and just celebrate with my baby. So I have all these, like, slow-mos of me in front of, like, like different Thailand places of me just, like, holding my belly. I actually, in Thailand, had a fan um, from a boat. Like, we were on boats, um, like, off this <laughs> island. A fan, like, like scream, like, from like uh, like a hundred feet away, or maybe a hundred yards away, in a different boat, and I was, they're like, I think it's for you, Nathan. And I was with um, like a tour guide and a bunch of <laughs> hostel people that I was staying with um, at this party hostel I was staying at, and we took we all took a boat trip together. And so the girl gets on our boat, takes a picture with me, and then goes back to her boat and like whatever. But it was interesting. Yeah, I was. Interesting. What was the funniest reaction funny. you got from any from the locals from Thailand? Yeah. Um, that's not a thing you see often. I, I oh, don't I don't know. Ever. No one, no one gave me. Any, I don't know. Really? I'm, 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 not, I'm not self-aware. I, or I just don't like pay attention to what other people are looking at. Well, man, I thought that someone would like interact with you or something. Because I feel well, like I here, didn't, here someone would interact. With people with just you. thought I was fat because I was. <laughs> I, mean, I, I wasn't actually pregnant. Like that was the joke. Like I wasn't pregnant. So like I didn't look right, pregnant. Right. Oh, like you weren't pregnant? Man. No, I wasn't pregnant. That's that crazy. fucking insane. Yeah. Odd Pod Podcast. That was a lot of money you were just holding up. That much. Not a lot. All right. Here we go. Third segment. Thanks this week's to is... Oh. Let me do this. Though, is so. brain content addicting? No. It didn't. Right, right That's there, why right. I looked at that. Okay. Do you type... Here's my this? question. Ready? Is cringe <gasps> content, <sighs> content addicting or even a thing? Cringe content is 100% a thing. It's super marketable and monetizable. And it gets a lot of engagement, and a lot of people love it. I love it. Yeah, I watch the crap out of anything. Cringe. Yeah, it's cringe. It's like, oh my god, this is cringe content. It's like making me cringe, but like you can't stop watching, and it's like so awkward. But like you want to keep watching it because I, I think I actually watched a video on this, and it's like a form of edging almost, but like not like sexually, <laughs> like it just in general, it's like edging you because you're like, when is it gonna like? When's the climax? And it never gets to the point. Like, and it's also just cringe, usually. Or you can, like, feel the room. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. like so if somebody's awkward. being really cringy, you can feel what everybody else is feeling in that yeah. room. Well, people, like, interview people at Walmart in public, and it's not well done, and it's like, that person really feels a comfort. You can feel it through the screen. Like, that stuff's so hard to watch. I actually have, I, I sometimes just, I'm like, I can't. This I don't know. I love it, dude. Yeah. I love it. I can tell, because I, my biggest problem, I've been wanting to do, like, a YouTube thing for a long time, like, Andy knows, 
he's mentioned it too. And then I remember when we were posting like the first few episodes. He would be like, "Just post it, just post it." And I'm like, "No," because I always like feel like I want to throw something nice out there. I feel yeah. like it's cringe. But that was really just me kind of justifying like me trying to get past that cringe barrier myself. Mm-hmm. So that's a big reason why Jacob has helped me a lot because he's Fail really helped me like faster. push. Fail faster. Yeah, he really has shown that. So that's yeah. why, that for real, cool. dude, yeah. I appreciate the push every time. That was a cool. I never heard somebody say that. Yeah, fail faster. You'll get there way quicker. Fail faster by Nathan Pilot. Has anybody else taken that quote? Um, that's been said before. Okay. And we failed a lot. We've been. We're failing so fast. I I also say try and fail up. I've always said that too. Like try and fail up. Oh, fail bigger. Yeah. One time we were orange. Well, like uh, fail like (laughs) on an upwards trajectory. Okay. Because you're getting closer each time. You're just failing closer. So it's like you're stumbling like this. At least you're doing that, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Little, you're doing a little worm Mm -hmm. going up. Oh yeah, little worm. Well, what's your take? Uh, Jacob, do you think cringe content is addicting? You he like loves that? it. Oh, yeah, I, I love, love it. it. I'll, I'll watch the crap. I'll actually follow people who do... They call it satire. You yeah. know what I mean? They call yeah. they do cringe yeah, stuff like character. It's satire, and they're in character, and it's yeah. cringe, and I think that stuff is hilarious. Yeah, I love it. There are un- This is like an unfortunate thing, maybe. I don't know. But there are a few people on TikTok that live stream. I don't think they're trying to be cringy, but I watch oh. them because it's so cringy, and I love it. Like, And I don't think they're trying to be cringy, and they have an audience. And they're always live streaming. I'm like, they're like my favorite cringe TikToker. Like, like the new AI I thing? Watch them. What are your thoughts on that? Like, oh, yeah, that's that, fine. No, or the people that act like uh, chatbots, like you tell them to do something mm-hmm. and they'll do it. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's like it's just a way to make money. I think it's overdone now, but it's uh, it's like a way to make money, yeah. I mean, who cares? Like, you know, it's like whatever. I guess there's two different kind of cringes that you both have mentioned. You there's mentioned a, one where it's like bits. There's a world of cringe content. Like, yeah. there's so many types. It's the poorly it's executed one that you mentioned that I cannot stand if it's a yeah. bit i love that if it's just poorly executed they tried their best and you're like oh this person's serious the one I where can't. it's like it's like um the girlfriend will be like in the kitchen like doing something and the guy will like go behind the line like Shh. yes oh, yes the oh facebook my. videos and he'll throw he'll throw like an egg at her yes. and then he'll go down and she'll be like <gasps> are those <laughs> people <laughs> real <laughs> oh my god and, and, the then, best. and then he's like Shh. <laughs> like I hate that. No, those are the ones where she doesn't see the camera. Like the camera's invisible. Like yo, she sees it. It was planned, and they did that like four times. But then you see like there's one that purposely make it fake. (laughs) You see a a thousand comments. Half of them are like, (laughs) leave them alone. Some people are like, y'all, it's a joke. And I'm like, are all of you actually real right now? So much engagement. They're real. I hate these people. Yeah, it's ridiculous because people love to hate on it, and then some people actually think it's real. So it's like I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. It's engagement. But I think it's just like. Are you that person that, like, you know it's cringy, you know it drives numbers, that's what you keep doing, you said, I'm just going to swallow it, I don't care? Oh, yeah. Or do you actually think, oh, this is funny? Are those, what are they? I know a lot of creators who make cringe content full-time, they make a lot of money off of it, um, and it's for money, they make, like, money off it. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, I do that with a smile every day, I don't care. Yeah, who cares? It's like, it's easy. They're like, oh, yeah, whatever, let's do this. We should do that. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, I would oh get my, my balls busted Where so is hard that? at Where is that coming from? Someone doing that, I know who's there. And then they go back to it, and then he does it again. And then he goes, oh! You know. Oh my <laughs> it's god. Like crazy. And like it's it funny, because it's ironic, the haters are the ones that drive up those numbers. Because yeah, they engage, want to come, and I'm like, they love real. I mean, like, engagement's all the same, whether it's positive or negative. No such thing as good or bad publicity. Yeah. Speaking of publicity, uh, that's a great segue to my next question. You're welcome. Uh, where do we draw the line at pooping your pants? Your uh, pants, not my pants. My I thought we like, were specifically anyway, talking to you. At what point do we no longer want to hang out with you? How much have you pooped in your pants where you're like, okay, we don't want to hang out with you? I'm just joking. So there's a story behind this. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I was walking to the bathroom to go take a leak, and I was like, oh, I got a fart. <laughs> Lo and behold, it wasn't a fart. I've been there. I sharted in my pants. That's but, but. You probably went to the bathroom after, right? Right, yes, I yeah, did. you didn't just say <laughs> like that. I didn't say like that, but. Hmm. It didn't. <laughs> it, it, well, didn't touch my shorts. it didn't touch my shorts. It didn't touch okay. so, so yeah, my shorts. It didn't touch your underwear. No, not even my underwear. Oh, okay. And then so. Splattered all over so the I sat, and so I, Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And so then I sat down and I cleaned myself up, washed up, and that was it. Did I shit my pants? Ooh. Did I shit my pants? Yeah, I did. But uh, it didn't touch my, was, my shorts or underwear. It's a wet ass fart. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. So you pooped your pants. You waffing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's, some wop, that's, some wop. that's some wop. That's some wop? That's some wop? That's some wet-ass fart. That's a wet-ass fart. I don't, I don't know if that's considered... Bring a, a bidet and some tissue paper for that wet-ass fart. That was great. <laughs> Throw the jingle wop, like that. Wop, that's some wet-ass fart. I think pooping your pants is mean it like you pooped into your pants. I think you had a... You pooped your butt. I pooped your butt. 
Yeah, you eat the poo poo. Yeah, you eat the poo poo. I did not lick it like ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. So that's what you mean, draw the line. Where yeah, does it where draw do you, the yeah, line? Yeah, did I poop my pants? So where you're saying it draws the line is his butthole. Once it exited that, your poop, pants are pooped. Uh, I guess, yeah. I feel, I, feel like, has I, I feel like you should change your underwear and pants. I don't think you should just like wipe it up and then be like, ah, oh, it's probably good. It didn't touch well, my pants. Look at it. I still think you should change. <laughs> that's very. That's it's, very. It's fair. particles. It's particles for particles. sure. Particles. Fart. You can't see it, but it's there. Okay. You just poop in your pants. I didn't do that. That never actually happened. So. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Allegedly, Allegedly, I did. That's that. happened to me a lot. <laughs> oh, again, no, I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had the flu once, and I don't know why. I, like, well, he was I didn't learn my lesson after the first time, or the second time, or the third time. Every time I farted, I farted like seven times that day. And I was on my last pair where I was like, I cannot be farting no more. Because I, I had the flu. And luckily I was home all day because I had the flu. But yeah, I, I put my pants seven times in a day. Because every time I thought it was a fart, and it wasn't ever a fart. Trust is Major trust yeah. issues. Yeah, yeah. But that I was feel like you should have known after the third time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'll put my last pair underwear. underwear. And that was when I was like, all right. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I this time it won't yeah. happen. Hey, I was on cold medicine or flu medicine. Okay? I just imagine that you're laying in bed, you're freezing, and you're like, oh, is this fart worth it? I'm gonna take the risk and you just I shoot didn't it. question it until like the last two probably. <laughs> did you like, bag up each pair of underwear or would you just like take it off, throw it through? Oh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> stick it Odd pod questions. Um, like low key, knowing me, I'm probably just doing laundry, which is really gross now that I'm thinking about it, but it probably is what I did. <laughs> I, I, would, I would wash it and rewear it. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah, I would oh, yeah, wash oh, it and rewear sure, it too. Sure. I just did it like get, I didn't like get rid of the waste very well. I kind of just, oh. I just threw it in with the other clothes. So now it's all on the front right? That's, no, that's fair. Oh yeah. my god, but it's also messy, because if you're sick, you know, it's not an easy pickup. Anyways. Yeah, I was sick. I pooped my pants once in the McDonald's in Centerville when I was like seven years old. McDonald's? Oh, I, never, I never pooped in public. Well, my oh, dumbass... No, I did. I have pooped in public. little rocket thing. <laughs> oh my yeah, he's laughing because he knows, you know? Wait, say it again. little rocket thing in the McDonald's pay place? Oh, no, you up. shit in that? No, I actually, I was seven years old. I took an actual big poop because I had constipation problems growing up. And so I took an actual big poop. You're like, I'm going to take my chance. Like, it's happening right now. I'm just going to let it. Yep. You know what I mean? And my this dumb doesn't ass happen a lot. didn't go to the bathroom and put it away. I got in the car and everything with my parents. And the first one, he saw his poop. And that's when they realized I had pooped my pants. Oh, no. Tragic. Did I poop my pants? No, no, definitely no? not. I was a kid. Did you yeah. poop your diaper? Huh? Oh, seven. Just, Straight underwear and, oh, okay. and pants. Mom was not happy. But can you I pooped into your pants. Yeah. So yeah, you pooped your pants. Damn. I Can I tell y'all about me pooping my pants recently? I can't Please. wait. Okay, can't so wait. Um, I found out, like, don't wear skirts and eat in and out um, so, I, so I went to LA Fashion Week, and sure it was the that. first time I've ever worn a skirt because my stylist put me in a skirt for LA Fashion Week. And, like, I had this, like, really dope outfit on. Um, but she wanted me to play with like, uh, like gender, kind of like, like be more femme, um, but in like a really cool, like young blood, like artist kind of way, like Green Day almost. So I was like very black and punk, but with a skirt and like <clears throat> leggings. Um, so I, in and out, I go to LA Fashion Week. I live an hour away. So I leave, this was like a year and a half ago. So I leave LA Fashion Week. I start driving back and I'm like in the middle of LA at an intersection and I'm like, oh my God, I'm oh my god, I'm, I have to go to the bathroom right now. And so I start, like, I feel all this pressure. It's happening. I'm like, oh my god. I know and that. So I that's pull, the worst feeling. I pull, uh, oh. like, trying to find, like, a McDonald's or something, and I literally, it starts happening. I'm like, I can't. So I, I pull on, like, a side neighborhood intersection that's, like, very busy. It's, like, right next to the main road still. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. So there's, like, a stop sign. There's, like, a big van, like, across the street. And I just, like, run. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's happening. And I just had, I just pulled up my skirt. <laughs> I had to use my underwear to wipe. It was like oh. it was like the runs. It was like the runs. I haven't been in out since then. And it was in the middle of the street. It felt like the bridesmaid scene. And I just I was like, what do I do? How do I get home? Because I was like not in a good spot. Like I don't know. And I took my the Ralphs bags, which is our grocery store bags. Um, I put them on my seat and I just drove the rest of the way home and immediately showered. This is in LA. Dude. This is in LA. I, the I traffic so and LA. everything. Yeah. You had to sit there in your poop for a bit. Yeah, I just had to sit by, stand behind this like white van and this guy like with his dog like moved to the other side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> you just reminded was me of the one time that his pants. I almost pooped my pants. Yeah. You just reminded me because you said you wiped with your underwear and that's exactly what I had to do. Yeah. Except I was in a fucking corn maze. Oh no. And I couldn't get out of the corn maze. <laughs> So I That's went terrible. to so That's I went terrible. to like the corner part of the corn maze. I knew how to like get over there at least where nobody like went to that area and I just pooped into the corn. 
Yeah, yeah, I stumbled white, upon... And I put my thing on top yeah. of one of the tall cars. <laughs> <laughs> that and was your best. So Whoever did that Oh, you <laughs> stayed <laughs> for the rest of the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at least in LA, it's, like, common for homeless people to poop on the street. So, like, walking past human poop isn't that weird on the... But it was, like, still a lot. I mean, it was, like, not good poop. You know what I mean? Like, and it was the runs. It was the runs. So, and the underwear, I was just like... I look at that and I'd be like, this person doesn't have to much longer. I was like, that person's dying. Yeah, you, you would have thought that that day. That was a good segment. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good poop segment. All right, uh, final odd question. Uh, Man, that was a good segment. We should have ended with that one. While in a relationship... Actually, this is a good one. While in a relationship, is having a celebrity hall pass a good idea or a bad idea? What does Ooh. that mean? A hall pass? Wait, really? Yeah, well, ask me, what does that mean? Oh, I didn't so know. So a hall pass it. is like, say, me and my girlfriend, we can all, we can each have one hall pass, and mine would be obviously Jason Momoa. Obviously, obviously, you say that yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then hers is whatever celebrity. Okay, so you get one person that you could have sex with if you meet them. Yeah, yeah, yeah your partner be a, can't be mad. But yeah. is it like set before? It's like this is my one person. I want like, to the ask weekend. This. It's the weekend. If I meet the weekend, anyway. No, you hold it. Time. You hold it in your hand. You say, "I'm cashing in my hall pass." Like this. Some okay. people have one already set. Some people can be I've like, I'm cashing that. mine in. My hall pass would have been for my ex, who was the adult film star. Um, I didn't, in LA, a, hall, a celebrity hall pass doesn't make sense because you, like, you will run e- into them. You can e- Yeah, you'll run into them. It's easy to hook up with celebrities in LA because um, everyone's human. But also, so is your ex. Also, celebrities is a broad term and it's different for every person. What, what someone thinks a celebrity is, is different for every person. Okay, so like well, a celebrity to me could be not a celebrity to you. Okay, but it would be your choice. So if okay, I, so yeah, well, my celebrity hall pass is someone I dated and had sex with. Okay, so congratulations. But then you, but you, you were dating I was single. No, I was single. But I was single. Oh, okay. So, so is it a good pass. idea? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, good idea, bad idea, fun idea. It's a terrible idea in LA or New York. Anywhere else, probably fine. Yeah, because here you're like it's so common for them. He didn't even like we don't yeah. we have a term like, for it because it's so out of this world, like unlikely. Yeah, yeah, like in LA it's so normal. Like it's so normal. Like we could change yeah. it to just hall pass then. A just hall anyone? pass in a relationship. Oh, like so, just one person. Here we'll go. Let's go around. Okay. Uh, so here's the question: Is it a good idea or a bad idea to have a hall pass while in a relationship? I go first. I think it's up to to you two. Like personally, I'm not happy with the idea. But that's just me. Yeah. Communication. 100%. Communicate, I guess. Okay. But, like, some people are open. Like, I don't right. know. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Communication. 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 Okay. So, if it was a yes, who would your hall pass be? Nowadays? Nowadays. Um, It's like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of... Um, it would probably, uh, I don't know. I've like the people that I've wanted to have sex with. I have Bert what? Kreisner. Um, I'm trying to think of someone that I haven't like had sex with that I'd like to, but who's like someone that people would know. Um, <laughs> who wants to be on an album? I think, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to think. I'm not trying to come up pompous. I'm really just trying to think of anyone. Um, <laughs> anything. I really like. Um, there's got to be someone. No, I had sex with him. Okay, Tom, um, Tom Holland. Is, wait, like, do you want no, us to just get no, back to you? Type. I gave you a yeah, type you of your Bert Kreisner. I don't know who that is. Um, maybe like like if they were not, not straight, Josh Gad, who's the guy who does the voice for um the snowman in Frozen, and he's also like he was also um. You fuck Olaf. Gas, yeah, Olaf. Gaston, <laughs> the voice for that's clickable. Gaston's like in the real live action um. Beauty and the Beast, he was the other guy who wasn't Gaston. He was like Gaston's lackey. LeFou. I was LeFou. Yeah. Gosh, Josh Gad is, I find Josh Gad attractive um, in a weird way. He's like nerdy and geeky attractive. LeFou? Yeah. Yeah. And he so, made, they made him, he was apparently in a sexual, like a gay at the end of the movie. Yeah, I yeah. He, he's, he has a wife and kids though, but um, I looked it up. But, because um, I would have <laughs> DM'd him and we would have gone on a date probably, if not otherwise. No, but yeah, there's, there's definitely... There's definitely some stories of like celebrities that I've wanted to hook up with and then I did. And some of them I dated. So I just don't have like a really big list anymore because it's like, I don't know, you know what I mean? You've like LA. It all. LA, man. You just do it. Someone say you conquered the Grand Line. Yeah. Yep. I get that One Piece reference. So for me, I would have to say Hall Passes comes down to, I think they're an okay idea. 
I get one. The girl doesn't. That's ridiculous. That's very Why? That's very, uh... I know, that's toxic masculinity. No, I don't want a hall pass. I, don't, I wouldn't need one. I mean, mine would be Katy Perry, but it would have to be with that person. I'd have to communicate with them, because I don't know. I feel like there's some points where you're like, I don't know, I'm not going to marry this person you don't know, so I might have a hall pass then. Hmm. But if it's someone that I'm probably going to marry, I don't want a hall pass. Because my self-esteem can't compare to Channing Tatum. Why is it always Channing Tatum? Oh, it doesn't have to be. Or Jason Momoa. That's the new hall passes, and I'm like, I'm not that... I feel like... Is that... That's it? Can I go? That's it? Yeah, sure. You okay. me off. No, 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 no. That was a great answer. <laughs> Thanks, man. Very good. 10-10. 10, 10. 10, 10 yeah. That's what um, I'm saying. Girls shouldn't have one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like if it is not established in the beginning or right before you get in a relationship, then it cannot be established. No, I don't agree with that. Mm. I think it could be like a year or two years in. It's yep. communication. Yep. You just have to both be okay with it, and you have to. it has to go both ways. Why are you in a relationship, then? If you, you should already know what you're looking for before you get into that relationship. But why would yeah. you want to go into a relationship already saying, hey, these are the other people I would sleep with other than you? Yeah, it would have to horrible. be like later to switch, like to fl- to switch But up. then if it gets that way, then it's equally as horrible Not as in the beginning. Some people want to spice it up. They're like, all right, our sex life is boring. Let's go swinging. Like people come There's to the other time. ways to spice up your sex life. You yes, if to, you both agree to it, obviously yeah, that's a have different to go to a situation. I think but some if you're couples going to can't play. handle it and some couples yeah. can I mean, everyone's up to them. It's up to them. This is our first odd pot argument. No, I just feel like, and you're wrong. And you know what? You're wrong too. You're on to something. Hey, you know the guest. <laughs> he gets a hall. I'm just trying to be on that album. Yeah, there. that's it. But yeah, um, he's I, on my first album. I just feel like you, if you're going to get in a relationship at an older age, this isn't for younger folk because they might not know. And obviously, people go through relationships and learn from them but if you're going to get in a relationship you should already know what you want if you're going to want a celebrity crush throw that out up front and if you get in a relationship and it gets boring sexually then you probably didn't date long enough to understand maybe i don't know to understand i don't know you should already know what you want if you're going to change it later up that can be like offensive to somebody and that can end your relationship right there if the other person isn't automatically okay with that yeah Someone didn't like the hall pass their girlfriend picked. Yeah, well, she picked Steiny, and like, what the heck? Who's that? <laughs> the piano guy? The guy that made the piano? No the voice. Made... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Who's yeah. Steiny was he referring to? I can't... I Steinway. Steinway. I was talking about Steinway. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's like, I think that person... You both it. looked at each other. Okay, so there was something behind that. Okay. Um, no, no, it was a... Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like a celebrity hall pass doesn't make sense if you live in New York or LA, and it would never make sense for any of my relationships. We'd just be open. Because at that point, it's like, well, I'm going to run into this celebrity on Saturday at their album exactly. party. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to, and you know, if I'm going to be with them, we're going to be sharing drinks, and they're going to think I'm attractive, and I think they're attractive already, so you know, you never know what can happen. That's and, stupid. And, and you know what, what happened. I, don't, I just think it's weird. I don't know. I, view, I guess I view relationships differently. If you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship. Yeah. That's like, in my head, that's the whole point of a relationship. Yeah, but I, I can see where is being committed right. without like question. Of yeah, sacrificing sexual, yeah. your other wants. Yeah, for the other person that you love, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's a good way to view it. Very yeah, fair. So yeah, wow. You want to know what I that's always awesome. hear from uh, open couples <laughs> like who are like married and been married for like years? Yeah, Please, they always tell me which I I could see this, and everyone's different, and you have to do, you have to communicate, you have to like be like honest with yourselves both parties do but what i've heard is they don't believe that one person can be everything you need forever always because you're always changing and so it isn't weird if they do like maybe down the line years later like open it up to like you could go date this person or like i I just have to approve of this person but you can go like hook up with them like whatever um but i do think sometimes those end those can really end really badly I have seen some successful ones though, like people who are in their 60s and they've been open since they were like 45. Um, but it is a different type of relationship. It's not. But a lot of moments like that, they are tied into that relationship because they have children. So that's yeah. The but they're... I know a lot of gay couples. I'm thinking of gay couples. Oh, okay. The way that children. I also look at it though, it's like some people have a certain level of like controlling, where they like allow their girlfriend to do certain things. You know, like oh, I let my girlfriend they smoke or something, and eventually they might start smoking, and you let that in. Yeah, that's fine. But they start drinking. Like I hate when. A, when I've seen shitty boyfriends, when a girl's like too afraid to vape or have a drink, she's like, oh, my boyfriend's going to judge me. I'm like, no, leave him. Yeah. Leave him. Ooh, and so yeah. it comes down to that degree. Like, 
vaping's fine, smoking's fine. I'm not saying that they're all like equal, but I'm saying like, what's your level of comfort of letting your partner have freedom? Because at the point they yeah. have to have freedom. Oh, yeah, well, that's one hundred percent. I want that to always my partner. But it's like, at what point does I feel like for you it comes down the line for respect and freedom that way? Yeah, I don't know what respect and freedom is that way of putting it. I think freedom is though. Um, yeah. uh, one thing you said is how like it, ever, people are ever changing or whatever, and that is one hundred percent. I hate when people say I feel like people don't change after a certain age or something like right. that. But we are ever changing. But the one right. of my favorite things about being in a relationship is how we're kind of changing. It, we're taking yeah, each other's quirks. Yeah, like That's I've noticed. I like Megan, uh, my girlfriend, says things that I say, and I can capture saying something that I'm like, okay, I've been always said that, or vice versa, or doing mannerisms, and we kind of act on, act the same way. Man, I'm terrible at wording this. No, no, I get it. But no. yeah, we're kind of like changing. Instead of being like this, we're changing into like kind of mm-hmm. just like each other. You can always like, That's your like one of my favorite things. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Line, skits or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but... Like and word for and it. that happens like in any relationship, like friendships even. Like, oh, that's true. You're yeah, always yeah. around yes. someone. Like, I don't know if, if y'all can relate to this, but in high school, I had these two guy friends, Carlos and Ryan, and Jacob knows them, but we would go hang out every Friday night. And after three years of hanging out every Friday night, every like Wednesday, every weekend, we all literally had the same closet. Like our, cl- we looked exactly the same, had the same haircut. We all looked exactly the same. We had the same jokes. It was like, whoa. And we all noticed it after three years. We're like, we're the same people now. Like this is kind of embarrassing. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to them. Those yeah. Cool Shout out to Carlos to Ryan. I was Ryan's best man at his first wedding. Heck Shout yeah. out to wife number two though. You're better. Well, <laughs> shout out! As, shout out! Before we wrap up, any more other shout outs here? Um, shout out to my mom. Shout out Jacob. Shout out God. Shout out Jesus. Uh, That's how we met. Odd Pod. Odd Pod. I yeah. uh, shout out Odd Pod. Yeah. All right. Nathan. Shout out Andy. Shout out Nacho. Um. Shout. Out, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, Nathan. Let the people know what you're doing. Tell us everything. Anything to look up for? Any projects? Let them know. Yeah, I I'll, I'll probably have three singles come out this year that I'm working on right now. I'm going to go to L.A. in June to finish up some music stuff, uh, recording like a few things I'm working on. Um, I'll have like maybe some EDM house club beats or club like hit type things um, coming out in the next year or so. So look out for that. And I'm also dropping a clothing line uh, soon. So get ready for that as well. Everything of Nathan's that either he mentioned or we mentioned in this podcast will be in the description below. So enjoy that. And go stream Pyland. Yeah, go stream Pyland. Anything else? Andy? J- and well, Nathan, hey, anything, anything, anything else before we head out of here? Uh, Jacob? All good? Uh, I get laid pretty often. Send me frequently. Thank you so much, everyone. Watch my reel! I never get laid, I'm a virgin. Oh, like you add a fireplace to cook your food on? Like, no, we have a stove. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>